WFC TV with uh, Steve King. All I can say is how frustrating was that? How many chances did we miss? You know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chances. One-way traffic. Um, totally, their keepers pulled off. Two fantastic saves that I see, and the missed chances we missed were just horrendous. I've just said in there. I can't fault you for your game, the way you played, you give everything, effort, endeavour, dominate the whole of the game more or less. They had little pockets of counter-attack, which they're going to have. They're a good team. But uh, we didn't win that game of football. I'm just left speechless. We had to come back from behind when they scored early on, didn't we? It was a, a bit of a sucker blow. What did you think of the goal? Uh, listen, Jordan Parks is a good player and, and, and scores great free kicks, but that was a cross. That was a cross that went straight in it, um, for me, from where I was. But you know, let's take that away. You know, we've we've gone on and had chance after chance again in the first half. Um, took probably our hardest chance, but the chances, the one on ones we had in the game. I mean, we have got to put that to bed. We have got to put them games to bed. You got, like I said, the, the team was. I think that's as good as we've played, in my opinion, against the good side that will be in and around the playoffs this year. Um, definitely. Uh, you did mention when Greg interviewed you last week that there could be another striker coming in at some point. Is that still a possibility? Or? Yeah, only if the right one becomes available. We're not just going to sign anybody. We've been trying to do something. Um, we've got the blessing and the backing from Mark to, to, to do that, which is good. But we, we, we need the right one. And we're not just going to sign anybody. We need the right one. We've got two you know, very, very good forwards. We need a third, 100%. Um, but until that right one comes available, then obviously we're not going to just sign, like I said, anybody. But, you know, today, it's hard. It's hard to take. At, at the back, uh, Charles slotted in. I thought we had a very good game today. I thought he felt a little bit difficult last week, coming in maybe a little bit undercooked. But today, I thought he looked very good. Yeah, I mean, we had to, we had to change things a bit today because obviously Jordan's out with hamstring. Richard's out with a quad, Yanis is out with a hamstring, so they're sort of three weeks away, most of them players. So we had to put Craig at right back from left back and bring Charles in. Charles had an excellent game, I thought everybody played really, really well today, really, really well. And like I said, against the good side, to create the amount of chances we did and not win the game, I, I'm frustrated. <laughs> I've said it before, that there's not really a weak link in the side. I suppose, apart from the fact we're not finishing the chances. It's yeah, and like I said, Brad scored a lot of goals at this level. Yeah. And Danny Mills has scored a lot of goals at this level. So you've got two players that can score goals. But we're not scoring them. Yeah. And, I, and I, don't, I don't even think it's low on confidence because their game isn't showing that they're low on confidence, both of them. So they both, you know, they were bright today, you know, made decent runs, held balls up. Like I said, they, 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 they played well. It's just that icing on the cake, isn't it? Yeah, they've both been golden boot winners, haven't they, in this league? So, yeah. so they know where the net is. It's yeah. Just, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit lost, if I'm honest. As in, you can do everything you can in training. You can do everything. Like I say, they were fantastic today. As a group, fantastic. I couldn't knock him in any way, shape, or form. It's just got to, got to kill the teams off. I think you said last week, someone, someone is going to be on the, the end of the hiding when it all clears. I mean, it could have been today, yeah. it should have been today. Like I said, the, the, the missed chance. So how do we prepare for conflict? Same way we prepare today. We, we prepare to try and win every football match and, you know, we can only can put the boys out there and put them in the right position. We've got to finish the chances. Finish the chances and win the games. So, and that's been, honestly, that's been all of the games we've played. Even the couple that we've lost, we should have won. But it's what it is. Go again. Hatch took a little bit of a knock late on. Do you think he'll be okay? Hope so. He was struggling with a hip flexor before the game, to be fair. Thierry's got a groin injury as well, which he's been carrying. So, really, you know, when we had four centre halves and people thought we had a lot, all of a sudden we could, we could be four centre halves down. We're having to patch the two up to, to play today. And obviously, 36 hours later for another game is, is quite a big ask. Uh, you brought Archie back today as, as cover. Yeah, because we we only had four set subs, yeah. so we brought Archie and he couldn't play in the FA Cup today for Grey Wanderers, so we brought him in, and if we needed to use him, we would have used him. 
and Zach was here as well. Is that because uh, they were playing in the FA Cup? Yeah, they're in the FA Cup, so they just come and support their parent club. Thank you very much. Cheers, Mark.